YouTube family, what is up? Jeffrey Sanchez once again. And the subconscious is the title of this video. And I feel called to discover the subconscious with my phone here and record it and share it with you guys because it is fascinating. The subconscious is fascinating. Um, we think of the subconscious in modern day society as something that is happening in the back of our head, as something, as the, this thing that is there and we're not, we're letting it be. We're not really taking control over it or we're not really uh, questioning it. And discovering the subconscious again to me is more than just something in the back of your head the subconscious is the body it is not just the mind it's the entire body from head to toe and the reason why the subconscious is the entire body is because if the idea of the subconscious being something in the back of our head that is autonomous then the body is really the vehicle which is autonomous just like how a car was made by an engineer and was constructed piece by piece connecting connection to connection the human body was created in a very similar fashion and that car that then becomes the car after out of all these pieces really what makes the car is all these pieces so what makes the conscious moment is the subconscious stuff happening so in order to become the co-creator that we are meant to become we must first go to the subconscious and for me the journey with that is to take care of this body that I have first and foremost this is the center point in which I'm having the human experience that I'm having and because this is the access point at which I'm having this experience it is important for the human race and especially the human race because animals are even more in alignment with the subconscious but the human race because this is what's gonna allow us to go to the next level this is what's gonna allow us to reach that potential that we are consciously thinking about the conscious mind can be a little tricky because we think of the conscious mind as forward thought as thinking something and it coming to fruition and really the conscious mind is right in front of the subconscious so it's the playing field it is where we begin to co-create and the reason why this video is about the subconscious mind is because the subconscious is what brings forth the conscious and so to be able to be in the conscious we must be able to be in touch with the subconscious first and that is a much harder feat to execute than to just consciously think of things we can see how this is true because inside of our body we have an organization of organs and these organs are working without our conscious effort they're doing what they need to be doing perfectly the way they need to be doing it automatically without a thought or effort involved the heart beats by itself breath the liver is working the way it works the kidney is pumping blood the digestive system is digesting the eyes are receiving uh, images and information and all these things are happening subconsciously food is something that is overlooked for us to consider ourselves a very highly intelligent species um, to not think of food as something essential to being intelligent and being this thing that we really truly want to be it is ironic and almost a paradox to expect such level of intelligence without putting in something that is high vibrational we are capable of 
being high vibrational beings and these foods are there to literally help us do that they're literally right there being grown by mother earth and we don't need to do anything we don't need to genetically modify anything we don't need to mass produce anything everything takes care of itself and really and truly all we need to do is eat the right food eating the right food will bring the subconscious into alignment because eating the right food then takes care of all of the whole organ system in the body when the organ system in the body is in optimum health now you are ready to experience your conscious life to its fullest potential so eating the right food is actually primordial to bringing the subconscious into alignment the subconscious runs 95 percent of the show only five percent of that is what we actually experience the perspective that we actually see from day to day the subconscious is everything else happening in the background it's almost like a computer 95 percent of the computer is in that big box and only the screen is about five percent of what's truly going on although yes it's very deep computers are super deep but what we are seeing is that huge box of metal and communication being talked to and we know that if something inside the computer is wrong then your experience of the computer will not be to its full capacity if you don't have enough RAM in your computer then you're not gonna have a good experience trying to edit a video or watch a movie or whatever it may be so earth is made out of 75% water I'd even say 80 85% water and we too are the same we are made out of that amount of water meaning we are a reflection of earth and water is very very essential to bringing the subconscious into alignment to be hydrated to be in alignment with earth helps us see what is truly there in front of us meat diet dairy diet you know sugars and aspartame and starch and flour and all these things that we call food cheese and hot dogs um, subconsciously speaking we are what we eat so if we are eating these foods then what are we now and many diseases are there because they have been created to fulfill the pharmaceutical industry's agenda which is just to make money and they need these diseases to flourish to become something and we can heal this we can reverse this by eating foods that the earth has given us um, blueberries walnuts kale um, watercress spirulina all these foods have the nutrients and supplemental minerals that are required to keep our subconscious organs in a state of optimum health for example spirulina is a superfood antioxidant and it directly triggers the the blood and it cleans the blood from free radicals making it more free in our body so basically what spirulina is doing is it is helping us um, deal with fear um, the kidney is there to flush out a lot of toxins and if we're eating food that has a lot of toxins in it then we're going to experience more fear because the body is trying to tell us there's something wrong with our body kale and watercress um, although they have very low calorie count have very high vitamins and minerals and right now we live in a society that really wants to 
make the calorie part very important, but is missing all the vitamins and minerals. See something very wrong with that. By eating kale and, and watercress, um, we are taking daily medicine every single day, and this is definitely helping us keep our nervous system uninflamed by things that are acidic in the body. So when your body is inflamed, your body is actually making it harder to flow blood in the body. And when the body is not inflamed, there's more free flow, there's more ease. This simply means that disease is when your body is not in ease. It's when your body has a block or an obstacle that is not helping the body facilitate or do its job at, at its optimum level. And so the subconscious is the abstract. It is the almost that which can not be fathomed. It can't be understood. It, it can only be felt and experienced. It almost can't even be put into words because even words are so can't truly grasp the totality of what the subconscious truly is and I think it's essential for human beings to stop thinking so much we think way too much and we think that this is the superpower that we can think but really and truly we're depriving ourselves of all the other organs and all the other things happening in our body because we're giving all this importance to the brain um, you know these standardized tests the school system the job field the work field all these things all want you to be up here and can you do one plus one and two divided by four and two times 0.75 and all these things and onomatopoeia and all these big words but we're missing the heartbeat. We're missing the dun, 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 dun. we're missing the blood flow. We're missing the the breath. We're missing the hair, the eyes. We're missing the hands. We're missing all of these things that help make the experience that much bigger, that much more fulfilling. Because we are depriving ourselves of an essential source, which is source itself. The earth is already, has already here all the things that we need in order to evolve to our next whatever. And it's really not our fault that we live in a society so a bit out of alignment from with that, but that doesn't mean that we can't go back into alignment. Just wanted to bring that message forward that in order to experience the conscious life at its fullest potential, it is imperative to go through it through the subconscious first. And that is to say that there is so much love there. You are very loved from me to you. Have a very good day. You're great. <laughs> Peace.